All right, many of you asked about this question from the homework. Uh, I didn't have time in class. Um, but when we look at ortho center, okay, ortho centers are the intersection of altitudes. And that's, you know, it's kind of explained throughout here. Uh, on the test, I'm, I may not use uh, the verbiage that uh, elicits an altitude. You, you're going to have to know that an ortho center is the intersection of altitudes. Um, but what it says is you have to start at point B, determine the equation of the the line that is perpendicular to AC. So I, I'm looking for, uh, now starting at B, I'm looking for the line that is perpendicular over here to AC. Uh, so I'm looking for essentially the equation of that line. And you know, obviously we want a right angle there. The way I do that is to use Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And, and it walks through and says, okay, well, what point do you know that's going to be on that dotted line? Well, there's an infinite number of points on there, but the one that I am very confident in showing up on that dotted line is that one, 5, negative 1. So 5, negative 1 needs to go there. Um, and this says, in addition, we need the slope of this altitude, okay? So the slope of this altitude, you go through this, it, it talks about how the slope of the altitude is going to be the opposite sign reciprocal of that slope. So I ask you to go through and find the slope of AC. So find the slope of AC, you take the Y values, 7, and two, you subtract them, and take the x values and subtract in the same order. So you get five sevenths. So that's what five sevenths goes there. The next question says, okay, now what is the, the slope of any line that's perpendicular to it? So that's, that's addressing the slope of this uh, dotted line. And the slope of that dotted line then would be the opposite sign reciprocal of five sevenths. So this would be negative seven fifths, okay? Um, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me backtrack. Um, three minus ten is negative seven, so that's five over negative seven, so it's negative five sevens, and then the opposite sign reciprocal would be seven fifths. Sorry about that. Um, always good idea to double check. Uh, what I was looking at is uh, to double check that real quick. Is the slope is going down, so it should have been negative, right there. The slope is going up from left to right, so it should have been positive. Uh, next part says, okay, now use that information that you just provided that 7 fifths and that point right there and create the equation of a line. So I'm going to go y minus negative 1 is equal to 7 fifths x minus um, x1, which is 5. So that's kind of what you're writing in here, negative 1, 7 fifths there, and then 5 there. Well, if I go ahead and evaluate that, simplify it, gives me y plus 1 is equal to 7 fifths x minus 7. Subtract 1 from both sides, you get y equals 7 fifths x minus 8. That's the equation now of that uh, black dotted line. All right. Second part of this right here is asking you to walk through and do the exact same thing, but now a little bit on your own without all the prompting uh, for the line that starts at A and goes perpendicular to BC. So looking at that, Um, you know, my, my actual line, my triangle probably looks more, just for visual accuracy, probably looks more like that. Um, regardless, um, doesn't really matter, but maybe that line there, that maybe that's the, the altitude, okay? Uh, I don't really care uh, really whether the picture is accurate or not. It's, I'm, I'm using the picture to uh, create organization, okay? I know that if I'm trying to find the equation of that altitude, that point has got to be on that. So there's my x1, y1, okay? And I need this slope here. I need that slope so that I can find the slope of the dotted line. So the slope of this blue one is going to be 10 minus negative 1, or sorry, 2 minus negative 1, 2 minus negative 1, subtract your y's, okay? And then 10 minus 5. So 2 minus negative 1, 10 minus 5. So 2 minus negative 1 is 3, 10 minus 5 is 5. So slope of the blue line is 3 fifths. So slope of the dotted line is negative 5 thirds. And now I'm going to create the equation going y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. However, in this case, like I said, x1, y1 is 3, 7. So y minus 7. Slope is negative 5 thirds and x minus 3. Uh, so that's what you would have 
I guess I, I, you need to evaluate it. You need to simplify that first before we type it in. So y minus 7 is equal to negative 5 thirds x uh, plus 5. We're going to add 7 to both sides. So we get y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 12. And that's exactly what you would have typed in right there. So now the last part says, what is the ordered pair then of kind of where these two altitudes intersect? So that point. Um, and here's the idea. If, if I've got this equation set equal to y, got that equation with y solved for, then that tells me that the 7 fifths x minus 8 should equal negative 5 thirds x plus 12. Um, I think it's a good idea to multiply everything by 15 here. If I multiply everything by 15, cancel, cancel leaves me a 3 here, so 3 times 7 is 21. Uh, 15 times 8, well, 15 times 10 would be 150. Um, so 15 times 8 is going to be 30 less than that, so 120. So minus 120. Now 15 times this 3, they're going to cancel and leave me 5. So 5 now times um, negative 5 would be negative 25x. And now 15 times 12, well, again, 15 times 10 would be 150. But now this is 30 extra, so plus 180. Um, now I'm going to um, you know, add 25 to both sides, so I get what, 46 here. Add uh, 120 to both sides, so I get 300. So 46x equals 300. Uh, x then is going to be 300 over 46. Uh, divide both of those by 2. I get what, 150 over 23. Okay. Um, so I believe that's the, the x-coordinate that we're looking for here. Um, now it's just a matter of taking that 150 over 23. So let me double check real quick to verify all my... Okay, that is accurate. Um, just redid it uh, real quick to see if uh, I replicated the same results. Um, now, that I'm gonna, now that I've got that, I'm going to take that 150 over 23. I'm going to plug it back into either one of these equations. Um, doesn't really matter. I think they're both probably as, as complicated as in either. Uh, so I go negative 5 thirds, plug in my x of 150 over 23, uh, and then I'm going to add 12 to that. Okay. So when you go through and doing that, 150 times 5. So 150 times 5 is... Uh, should be 750. So I get seven, negative 100, 750. Uh, 3 times 23 is 69. Uh, so now this would be 12 times 69 and 69 on the bottom. That's still 12. So 12 times 69 gives me 828. So I really have negative 750 over 69. Um, plus 828 over 69. So that means then I can reduce, or not reduce, but add those together. So negative 750 plus 828 should be 78. So we get 78 over 69. Now 78 over 69 reduces. Uh, there is a factor of uh, 3 in each of those. Uh, so that gives me 26 over 23. Uh, and that's the y value then. Of, of those two things intersecting. So my location of my ortho center, 150 20 thirds, comma, 26 20 thirds. And that is the best way to write our answer. Don't change it to decimals, don't do any of that kind of stuff. Just leave it as 150 over 23, comma, 26 over 23. Hopefully that helps. Uh, you'll see one of those on the test.